Hello children, in this video we are going to look at an algebraic equation, an algebraic equation in a picture form and let us arrive at some conclusions looking at this. Now take an algebraic equation y is equal to 2x plus 3 y is equal to 2x plus 3. Now we, we will try to make a picture out of it and see what happens. Now how do we go about this? Here x we can take any values for x, any random values for x and find out what are the corresponding y values. Now suppose you take x as 0, start with 0. Suppose you take x as 0, what does y become? y is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 plus 3 which is 3. So this is 1 for you. Uh, this will indicate 0 for, for uh, the value x is 0, the y becomes 3. And what would happen if we assume x to be minus 1, y would be equal to 2 multiplied by minus 1 plus 3, which is minus 2 plus 3, which would be equal to positive 1. So for an x value of minus 1, we are just assigning random values for x. Uh, x is called the independent variable. We can assign values, random values for x. And here y is called the dependent variable because the values of y depend on the values assigned for x. So y is called the dependent variable. So for minus 1 x, we get y as 1. Right? Let us try some more samples. Some more random samples. X is equal to, uh, let's take it as positive 1 this time. So, why does, uh, what does happen to, what happens to y? 2 multiplied by positive 1 plus 3 which is 5. So, for an x value of 1, you get a y value of 5. So, this, these are your x values, these are your y values. So, do we arrive at anything using this kind of a picture? Not much. We have lots of x's like we in between 0 and minus 1 or in between 0 and 1 also we have real values of x for which we can arrive at corresponding y values. But this kind of a, a picturization does not help us do that. So let's now see what we can do. Now, let us try to represent the same y is equal to x plus 3 in number lines and see y is equal to 2x plus 3. So let's take a number line for x. So let us take one number line for x, a uh, horizontal one and uh, another for y. Let's take another for y. Let y go in the up and down direction. We know uh, this x goes to left to right direction. Let us assume that y goes in the, let us uh, represent y in the up and down direction. Now values for x would be left to right. So it would start like this, negative. So this would be 0 and let us draw our y so as to intersect the x axis at 0. So let y also be 0 at this point and x also be 0. So this point can be represented as 0, 0. We are representing it in the coordinate form. This is called the coordinate form. x coordinate 0, y coordinate 0. So continuing with this, the positive values of x come in this right direction. Now y, let us uh, say that y towards up is positive 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and y towards down let it be negative. Actually these are done by convention. All the people follow the same convention of uh, showing the x-axis and the y-axis. Well, let's see what happens to our equation, this equation. Now as I mentioned before, uh, let's form a table to represent uh, the x and the corresponding y values. For x is 0, we already saw that y was 2 into 0 plus 3. So 3 for x minus 1 we saw that y was uh, 1 for x the value of x if we had taken at random to be 1 y was 5. Uh, so let's take some more samples. 
sum of samples uh, 2 let x be 2 so y would be 2 into 2 plus 3 it's becoming too large for us to put it in this picture but 2 into 2 plus 3 4 plus 3 7 and for x minus 2 we have 2 into 2 minus 2 minus 4 plus 3 which is minus 1 let's just try out with these samples let's see what happens here now for the first uh, how do we uh, let me show you a random number a random coordinate suppose x3 we had this coordinate suppose 3 comma uh, maybe 4 how do we plot it here look for uh, from the origin x at 3 so this is a, a number 3 in the x axis and this would be the number 4 in the y axis so our point would fall here at this place 3 comma 4 at this place right so I, this is just a random one let me wrap it out because i just i want to uh, represent all the act points which we have formed by giving giving random uh, values for x so what is our first first point our first coordinate would be 0 comma 3 first coordinate would be 0 comma 3 so x is 0 so it is here in the x axis itself we don't we do not have to go to the right or to the left because it's 0 but y will have to go to the uh, top 3 so this point is 0 comma 3 let me change my color this point is 0 comma 3 what is our next point minus 1 comma 1 where would this fall x is minus 1 so here and what about y so this is the point this is the point uh, this is the coordinate uh, minus 1 comma 1 it represents and what about uh, the third one we have 1 5 the x value is 1 the corresponding y value is 5 let me plot it it falls somewhere here so x is 1 so go up it falls somewhere beyond here go up on top of the 5 so I will just plot it here okay and what about 2 comma 7 it also goes beyond our uh, the number line which we have shown here so let me yeah 1 comma 5 so 2 comma 7 would be somewhere up here right it would be somewhere up here and what was our last minus 2 comma 1 minus 1 so minus 2 and minus 1 the coordinate falls here look at this uh, look at these values i it can by connecting these dots why are we connecting them by connecting these points we will arrive at even for other values of x in between 0 and minus 1 in between minus 1 and 1 we can find the corresponding values of y without having to do all these calculations just by connecting these points i hope the, yeah i am able to make a line yes see just by connecting these points now i can find out even for this value this is what minus one and a half for minus one and a half x can i find a y because it falls here of course if i become zero for minus one and a half x minus one and a half is what three by two right minus three by two what would y become it would become y is equal to 2 multiplied by minus 3 by 2 plus 3 so this becomes minus 3 y is equal to minus 3 plus 3 which is 0 c so it exactly the y coordinate here is 0 so this is x and uh, we you take any point in this line you would find a value of y corresponding to a value of x and that is why these kind of uh, equations are called linear equations because they form a line. They are called linear equations. So what have we done? We have tried to represent this equation, an algebraic equation, as something which we can understand, uh, a visualization. And at the same time, we can find the values of the y for even the values of x in between the sampled values which we have done so for all real values of x you have a representation and that is why every point in this equation in this line is called a solution 
is called a solution to r equation y is equal to 2x plus 3. I hope you understand.